Well, thanks. I had no clue that this was happening where there was no sound on the brand new one. So cheers, everyone that sounded in on that one. Um, I'm back. We have some highlights. I'm just going to take that video and rehash this video to talk about the joys of upgrading from 32 to 36 on my RAM. So basically what my findings was inside of that video. Some of the things that I'm talking about inside of this video is how I was able to achieve 2% higher over the 93 to 95% that I would be able to go with just being able to run the 3600 inside of the hardware, which is pretty cool. On top of that situation of what I was able to physically able to capture on the gameplay, the DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 scored in a little bit higher than normal for the new update. Now, a lot of people that were having Fortnite issues, I also reached out to to say, hey, I did reach out to AMD and they said it was on Epic's side. So if you haven't seen an update from Epic past the 11.20 for Fortnite, it's really on them resting, pushing forward. If this isn't some weird saving grace that AMD didn't really want to talk about for a split second. Now, one of the cool things that I kind of brought up for as far as scoring points that was here as you can see that the highest portion i was able to get on the fire strike was 21.495 that's insane that's like a whole bracket of it its own in that situation for as far as the gameplay can kind of go in fps i was able to achieve a lot of things with having the 3600 frequency feeding the 7nm process so anything navi anything like uh, Radeon, this, anything that they're rehashing in the 7 Enderman, it loves the 3600. That's the sweet spot because you can see right here, 95%. 95%! So one of the things that I can say for my community is it's a time to buy. If you happen to have a few extra bucks laying around or you're trying to get on like that situation of upgrading your RAM and you've had like a lower frequency for the longest time and you have one of these cards that's in, like an AMD line, it's definitely well worth it in order to benchmark and push into forward because it, A, it adds a smoothness. Now I'm running four uh, dims of the 3600, which is a little unnecessary on a, a KB Lake. Uh, you can really probably get away with for especially gaming like probably like two sticks to 16 and that's probably a thing but like for me having the uh, I guess upswing of what ends up being the processing point of the Threadripper where you are having four banks that are necessarily needed for four dies especially where I'm getting in a territory of having 32 cores and tomorrow having access to 24 cores hopefully in that if everything goes into plan so these are the more joyful portions of what technology is going to be pushing forward for as far as tomorrow's edge being today so i think that the radeon promise of them giving us a really longevity of this card is really true it just seems like the hardware had to catch up and the prices had to drop and right now is the time to buy it's the lowest i've ever seen it for you know four sticks of uh ram at 3600 at a 16 like latency um that's insanely good for like 200 bucks so i was able to get that and overclock it and have some really good tests so next run around when we get into the, like the actual physical direct x 12 and direct x 11 test we'll have some nice base tests and running tests in order to kind of go against now that i have upgraded the system even inside the kb lake now i'm going to be delitting my kb lake probably like later on in q1 of next year hopefully if not earlier i want to like liquid metal it and really push the processor because i noticed that this processor with this uh graphics card does insanely good for like uh i guess android based smartphone like linux style like running like it's really really good so who knows maybe i might make this a linux build afterwards i have no clue what i'm going to do with the mark one after i'm done with uh testing which i run my radeon testing on so it'll finally get an actual thread ripper that'll be like worthy in order for it to actually be able to run in this situation so looking at like the where the testing can kind of go for as far as should i update yes i think that this has been a great update now if you have issues with updating go for a clean install 
make sure that a if you're having like a splitter make sure your hdcp is either disabled or enabled depending on the card send that you're going to or the tv can be either or sometimes depending on what the get back can be a saving grace uh, clean install will definitely work, but if you're having issues like what I said before where people were being forced by Epic in order to install Fortnite and the 19.11.3 uh, and that completely disrupted and rocked the community of like people where I made a video trying to help and like so far Epic has not gotten back to me, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping they'd be more forthright, but I have been figuring out a lot more cooler tricks and technology and the cleaner overlay too. One of the reasons why we can kind of get like a little bit better of a cleaner overlay for as far as what this scoring looks like now is because I was able to get an Elgato Mark II inside of the system. So now it's true 4K um, HDR 10. Um, I'm really super excited about that situation. So I've been testing out a lot of stuff and that was kind of the nice thing um, for my Threadripper. I was not able to kind of get the 3600 running in the, uh, I guess the sweet spot for the second gen i suppose it's basically the first gen refresh where their their plus technology came into the 12 nnmn process but i'm really excited about the 7 nnmn and where they're going to be pushing forward in 2020 with the navi units because if this like is really like a trending point getting my like uh, 3800 ram or it's so the very limit of the one to one ratio before you crack into the two to one that's where you can get like the 5400 ram and all this other crazy crap that would probably cost you a lot but for me I i'm thinking 38 to 38 33 is going to be the sweet spot for as far as it so like if you're in the market for ram this is the time to buy it now the 3800 was a, a pretty penny i wouldn't recommend everyone rushing out to go grab it right about now now for as far as the situation for the 3600 it's a very sweet spot 200 bucks for four sticks of ram or 100 dollars for two sticks of ram definitely a really great situation and i have it linked down below that you can conveniently kind of get into and you can kind of see the variance portions of the scores that have been scattered up to there and this is me we're trying to get it like a little more towards the fire stark extreme and you can see that there's a lot of like drastic improvements from going towards the very first of week 19 or the the 19th installment of where they're kind of getting into the uh, radion introduction of the year you can see that where we've gotten towards the very beginning which this card probably would be in like the 11,000 like ish now getting it at the very top of last week's which is 12,000 on the very bottom right going all the way to this week's where i've gotten it more tuned and now i can kind of run the frequency a little bit wider on the 2000 mark and now my fire strike stream is coming in at about 12 and a half which is insane because before the update it wasn't really doing that now that compared to an actual rtx 2080 ti you can see that this is pretty good the standpoint of having that situation large great So I'm going to leave the community this much and have to re-upload this. Thanks for everyone for A, to letting me know what ended up happening for the audio not being there. Um, DirectX 11 definitely did get conquered inside of this update. So the 1912.1 is pretty good, at least for the Radeon cards for the 7 NMN and me switching to the different architecture of the 3600 RAM. So that could have a lot to play with it. I have to uh, re-stabilize my base testing now in this computer in order to understand like the the base flow and what's going to end up happening test to test but so far directx 12 definitely did work but in the 4k it was it was with inviting portions like in the portion of like point what i would want to see wasn't as big it was leaps don't get me wrong because of the ram but it wasn't as big as leaps as i had saw between like the directx 11 implications and then the ray tracing portion is always like if you were running our crytek you would probably very much see an increase in the side of there so drop a comment down below if you are new to the community it's always nice to see new people directly onto the forums and letting me know that a there's no sound or b that there is sound and who knows maybe if you do subscribe if you're brand new i can always take up the whole portion of deadpool comedy that'd be great dress up in cosplay, learn Deadpool jokes. That's something I'd probably want to do anyways. But who knows? You'll have to subscribe to find out. But all technology aside, as I raise myself the Triton Ram that I am recommending everyone to kind of get this Christmas, I think that this is a great stocking stuffer for anyone. And I, I literally got this for my AMD rig, and it ended up in my Intel rig that was powering my AMD GPU, and 
blew my freaking like scores up like literally i was able to gain almost 400 after fine-tuning my own personal overclock because i gained 200 off the bat and then 400 to 450 with tuning i was just <sighs> So yeah, it's your boy Max signing off saying happy holidays. Thank you for subscribing. If you are always new to the community and you are coming back to there, these actual tech talks, I appreciate you. Your time is very much valuable. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.